Hello, this is Bini here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about this talk, which is called Xpeng. Xpeng just released the G6 model. The stock went up almost like 16% last night because of this piece of news. The market took this as so impressed with it and it skyrocketed. As of the close last night, it went up like about 11%, but this is still fantastic. If you want to have a look into the G6, uh, here is the video that shows G6 in action. Isn't it impressive? Let's take a look into Xpeng in terms of the uh, G6 model. This is the G6 model here. So this is a silver color car. The proposed uh, retail price is about RMB 255k. So that's about Sing dollar, about 42,000. USD about 31,500. The management expect the G6 monthly sales to be six to 8,000. So if they have a pre-order of 25,000 in less than 72 hours, that means the order is about three to four months of order for them. No wonder the price skyrocketed and the market shut. If you look inside the uh, sales price of Xpeng, then it's slightly cheaper than Tesla Model Y. That means it's probably in the same category as Tesla Model Y, but slightly cheaper. But again, to highlight the sales price right now is indicative. It will not be the final sales price. Let's take a look at the interior of Xpeng. You know, it's, it's like really uh, impressive it has a red color as well I, I really like this red color car because i don't really like red color car but this color is nice but one thing to highlight um, perhaps that another two stocks might have uh, gotten your attention one is new new also search on price card for different reason but um, i want to bring up another china ev that's listed in nasdaq and that's li auto i think li auto is a little bit more interesting because of the sales as well as because of the price chart but today we'll be looking only at xpeng today because i won't be covering more than one stock for me to cover more than one uh, i hope that the channel can reach a certain milestone in terms of subscriber please remember to click the subscribe button and please remember to press like so that our goal can push it out to the others who are interested in this topic Let's take a look at the daily chart of Xpeng. It found a support at about 770, which was a previous low. At the same time, it's trapped in this like a triangle, descending triangle pattern here, which means that unless technically, unless that price can break out of this triangle, which is probably having a high of around $11, $10, $80, $11. Otherwise, I think it's pretty much restricted in this triangle. Worth to mention, the rise yesterday was accompanied by high volume, but the closing is something which I don't really like because, you know, it doesn't close at the top of the range. It closed with pretty much significant profit taking. End of the day, it closed towards the low of the range and that's happened like yesterday as well. So this means that there's probably a lot of intraday people trading and by the end of the day, they didn't keep their positions. In this case, it is implied that probably is driven by news. Once the news fizzle out, uh, we might not see this momentum again. To support my argument, we should be having a look into the higher time frame, which give us a broader inspection on the whole look of it. For the price, it is still very much downtrend. I don't think we are seeing any reversal here. So it's still in a very much downtrend situation. Strong resistance will lie in this area here, which was the IPO price of Xpeng. And that's about $18. And, and that's pretty much consistent because we have this IPO price about $17, $18 as a previous low before the stock price broke uh, below the support and went lower. I would think in order for price to resume its uptrend, that means for price to show a little bit of a, you know, move and there's really a total recovery, there is a need for Xpeng to trade above 18. So 18 is the key level here, all right? Otherwise, with even with G6 coming out, unless the sales is stunning, unless that the company turns 
result to be making a lot of money. Otherwise, it will be a short-term trade, very much range bow, and um, a strong resistance would come in around $17.70 to $18. The resistance can come in as soon as even about $13. I would really think that this is just a short-term trading opportunity. That means, you know, buy on news, sell on news. That means buy on rumor, sell on news. All right, if you really would want to enter into these stocks here, let me just mark in a few support level. Uh, as you know, my style is not to enter into that frenzy excitement, but to wait for price to come to a stable price point. And the first price point that I've seen would be around this level here, which is about 870. And that's probably before that frenzy moves up. I'm really thinking, you know, perhaps the market knows about that 25,000 pre-market order already and then price moved up on speculation or on the leak of news. Therefore, if this 25,000 impact on Xpeng is really significant, then it should move into a price level, which is about 870 before the moved up or before that news was leaked out or in whatever way, it should move to 870 and it should stop that there to provide a bit of a support, a bit of a rebound from there, then I would believe, yes, that 25,000 pre-sales impact is really significant, right? Therefore, 8,670 will be a key level and pretty much this would be a range play unless something happened. Okay, what is the something that I'm looking at? Uh, unless that it comes down to this 8,670 and then there is a rebound and a breakout of this whole consolidation pattern here, then what we're going to have is this head and shoulder that's inverted which is like a consolidation pattern then i will think expert can move higher towards the next price level that i pointed out which will be about 1770 on condition that price can ultimately close above the 13 level so there are a few conditions here right we have to see the support at 870 then followed by it moving towards the 13 dollars and that's the immediate the resistance and if you can clear the $13 and the next level would be about $770 to $18. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like?